Hi, so John here again from Field of Fitness and today we're going to go through four slightly progressive exercises from last time. Um, just remember a good fundamental warm-up is absolutely essential before starting these exercises and if you feel any discomfort at any stage then you need to stop immediately. So the first exercise we're going to go on will always target again these lower abs, we'll then move into the kind of obliques which is the side, finishing off on the middle uh, and that's generally the sequence that you need to do each time. So first exercise, number one, is what we call flutter kicks. The way this works is we're going to lay ourselves onto our backs, we're going to place our fingertips under our back in line with our belly button, the head should be fully supported, we bring the legs to tabletop position, we drop the shoulder blades down and back, we extend the legs out in front, and we bring one leg up and one leg down, really slow and controlled. What we're looking to do is try and maintain a nice neutral spine, so give a good bit of pressure through the fingertips as we drop those legs up and down. To make it more progressive, you go into a full leg extension, you come into extension or kind of flexion, and you raise the legs, and this will obviously increase more demand through the tummy. But again, start with the basic level, and then progress as you feel appropriate. On that particular exercise, you should be looking for three sets of approximately 20 reps, or around about 35 to 40 seconds. Exercise number two is cycles. So again, laying on our backs to start with, we bring our hands behind our ears. From that position, the legs come up to 90 degrees. From there, we bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee, and we come back to the neutral position. From there, we alternate opposite elbow to opposite knee. What we're not looking to do is do it really fast. This is a slow, controlled exercise, keeping constant tension through the middle and to the obliques. So nice and smooth, legs at 90 degrees, opposite elbow to opposite leg, or opposite knee, extending the leg out in front of you on the opposite side. So again, that can be done for maybe three sets of 20 reps, or can be done for about 45 seconds, or until you feel that really good contraction through the middle of the abs, and obviously the side as well. Final exercise we've got is the plank position. So the plank exercise, again, is starting on forearms. So, onto our forearms, we kick the legs back, we draw our belly button towards the spine, we keep the shoulders nice and relaxed, we draw the tummy in, and what's important is we don't allow ourselves to drop. We need to maintain a good straight back, keep the chin tucked into the chest, draw the belly button in, squeeze the bottom, and hold that position for as long as you can. Obviously the regression from that is by just gently dropping down towards your knees. What we're trying to do here is fight against gravity. So we're trying to make sure we keep the belly button in with the load of gravity coming through our back and through our belly button. So make sure pulling the belly button towards the spine and maintaining a good straight back and not allowing your lower back to drop. Again, that one should be done three sets, 45 seconds, or again, for as long as you can. The final one is what we call a V-sit. The V-sit exercise is where we start on our bottoms, we keep the feet out in front of us, from that position we lean back, we draw the belly button in, and we hold that position. To progress that, the legs will just come into the air, and again, maintain that alignment. What we're not looking to do again, is be in that hunched position. We must get our chest really high, we lean back, we draw the belly button in, and we hold that position for as long as we can. To progress it, the legs come into the air, and you hold again for as long as you can. We're getting three sets, aiming for 45 seconds on each, and just remember, quality over quantity, keep everything nice and slow and controlled, and again, you should get a good bang for your buck when it comes to your ab exercises on that one.